Welcome back to class. Today, I got this question and I want us to look at it. We'll be solving for x1, x2, and x3 in these equations using the Gaussian elimination method. That said, let's get into class. In case you missed our lesson where we explained how to solve linear equations using Gaussian elimination method, kindly look at the description below. We've placed links to those lessons. To ensure you get our lessons anytime we create them, Kindly hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. That way, you'll be sure to get our lessons anytime we create them. In using the Gaussian elimination method, the first thing is we'll be changing this set of equations into our matrix form. So that I'll have my 1, here will be 2, 3 in the first row, here will be 2, 6, minus 3. I'm picking the second equation, then here will be 4 minus 2, here will be 1. So I'll now have my x1, x2, and x3 equals to, here will be minus 4, 83, and here will be 3. I've changed the set of equation into a matrix form. Now, The next thing is to create my augmented matrix. In creating my augmented matrix, I have my 1, 2, 3, that's my first rule, 2, 6, minus 3, my second rule, 4, minus 2, and 1. Then I'll bring in the quotient, I'll bring them in so that it forms another column, but I'm not, I'm not adding it to my major matrix. To be 3, 3, and here is 3. So now I have my augmented matrix. Now the next thing I'll be doing, the set of things I'll be doing is I'll be converting. I want to, the next thing I'll be doing is reduce my third line or my third rule in a such way, in such a way as to remain this single element. Now, but I will not just go to this element, I will start from my second row. First, let's change this and reduce our 2 here to become 0. Next, we'll reduce 4 to become 0. And lastly, we'll reduce minus 2 to become 0. That way, we'll be able to solve the equation. Now, look at it this way. To reduce 2 to become 0, I'll multiply the element in row 1 with 2, then I'll subtract from 2. Now let, let me just create this. Now I'll multiply the elements in row 1 by 2 and subtract from row 2. That is, I'll multiply I'll be doing 2 minus 1 into 2. That becomes 0. So the item here automatically becomes 0. Now here is what I'm here's what I mean. The item in row 1 is 1, 2, 3. Here's a path for the augmented matrix. Here's 4. Now, my item here now becomes what? 0. Then I'll pick the next item, which is 2 again. I'll multiply it to become 6 now, minus 2 into 2. That becomes 6 minus 4, that's 2. Here I'll have 2. Next item here is minus 3. So I'll be having minus 3 minus 2 into 3. That is minus 3 minus 6. That's the same thing as minus 9. So here I'll have minus 9. And lastly, I have 33. It becomes 33 minus minus 4 times 2. I have 2 here. That's 33 plus 8, which is equal to 41. So I'll have 41. So doing, I have treated the second row. Now let's take care of this item first, 4, here in row 3. I'm going to multiply the items in row 1 by 4 and subtract from row 3. First, let's clear my workspace. So that I'll be saying 4 minus 4 into 1. 
obviously that's zero so i'll have zero here the next item is minus two becomes minus two minus four into two that becomes minus two minus eight that's minus ten so i'll have minus ten and the last item the next item rather sorry is one it becomes one minus four into three which is equals to one minus twelve that's equals to minus eleven minus eleven and lastly i have three that becomes three minus four into minus four that's equals to p plus 16 that's equals to 19 so here i'll have 19. now i can close my bracket but it doesn't end there lastly i'm going to make this item zero now to make this item zero i'm going to use rule two because i've already zeroized this item so i will use row two and what will i multiply with two and i'll add to minus 10 to make it zero obviously that's five so if i do row two multiplied by five and i had to row three this item must definitely become zero let's repeat our figures here is one two three And here is minus 4. Here is 0, 2, minus 9. Here is 41. Now I'm multiplying row 2 by 5 to add to row 3. Now the first item here is 0. Obviously, since I have 0 up here, 0 plus 0 is definitely going to lead to 0. Now the next item is, okay, let me clear my workspace once again. Now I have minus 10 plus 5 into 2 obviously that's minus 10 plus 10 that's 0 next i should have minus 11 plus 5 into minus 9 the same thing as minus 11 plus minus sorry minus 45 that's equal to minus 56 that's minus 56. Oh, this zero already. Sorry, I didn't write this zero. That was a mistake. I have written the zero I got here. Then this is minus 56. And lastly, I'll have my 19 minus plus, sorry, plus 5 now into 41. That's equals to 19 plus 205. That's the same thing as 2, 2, 4. So here, we have 2, 2, 4. Now we can now look at our augmented matrix and bring back our x1, x2, and x3. Obviously, this is my column for the x1. Here's my column for x2. Here's my column for x3. And these are my results. So from the first row now, I can conclude that x1 plus 2x2 plus 3x3 is equals to minus 4. From the second rule, I can pick my 2x2 minus 9x3 is equals to 41. And from my last rule, I can pick that my minus 56x3 is equals to 2, 2, 4. Now let's solve these simple equations i've simply recopied i've simply rewritten my equations now we can tag the equations to equation one equation two and equation three which an elimination method has helped us to simplify the equation so that if in from equation three we have that minus 56 x3 is equal to 2 2 4 so I conclude that x3 is equal to 2, 2, 4, 
over minus 56. So that x3 is the same thing as minus 4. Now, if 2x2 two from equation 2 minus 9x3 is equal to 41, we can conclude that 2x2 two two minus 9x3, let's substitute for minus 4, is equal to 41. 2x2 two two minus 36 is equal to 41 x2 is equal to 41 sorry this is minus 9 here i have minus 9 i have minus 4 that's plus 36 so that x2 or rather 2 x2 now is equal to 41 minus 36 2 x2 is equal to 5 41 minus 36 is 5 x2 will be equals to 5 over 2 which is equal to 2.5. Now, if x2 is equal to 2.5 and x3 is equal to minus 4, we can substitute in equation 1 where x1 plus 2x2 in place of x2, we can put 2.5 plus 3x3. In place of x3, we can have minus 4 is equal to minus 4. So that x1 plus 5 minus 2. 12 is equal to minus 4. x1 plus 5 minus 12, that's minus 7. Minus 7 is equal to minus 4. x1 is equal to minus 4 plus 7, which is equal to 3. If x1 is equal to 3, and we also have that x2 is equals to 2.5. Remember, we have x3 also to be equals to minus 4. With this, I hope you further understand how to use Gaussian elimination method. If you are yet to hit the subscribe button, kindly do hit the subscribe button. That way, you'll be telling YouTube you love what we're doing and encourage us to do more. Thank you, and see you in our next class.